And so I began to read the uh, prayer of Jonah. And I'm not talking about when he was in the uh, belly of the well. I'm talking about in chapter 4, after he had gone to Nineveh, preached and saw the people repent and knew that God was going to be merciful to those people. And it says that he was very angry. In chapter 4, it says he was very angry because his reputation was on the line because he told those people that God was going to destroy your city and he expected God to destroy the city. And when God chose not to, and that made Jonah very unhappy. So he began to pray this, uh, what I consider to be a very unusual prayer. But he began his prayer by saying, Thou art a gracious God. And as I said yesterday on the broadcast, when those words just came to me, actually that word, that word gracious, my mind just began to go in all different directions because I've walked with God for a few years and I've had my experiences with God and I I have to confess to you and I, I have to be honest with my radio audience. There have been times that I've been like Jonah. I've been a frustrated man of God because things weren't going the way that I wanted them to go and the way I expected them to go. And uh, here you find yourself just pushing and pushing and pushing. And sometimes you just feel like you're just beating your head against the wall and nothing is happening, nothing's changing. And then uh, you begin to think, well, it's only me. I, I'm the only one that's ever had uh, things happen that didn't go the way I wanted them to go that caused me to be frustrated. And then you go and you uh, be around your circle of peers. I'm talking about other, other pastors and other ministries. And you get that uh, spirit of evangelism that comes upon uh, people. And uh, man, it just sounds like for every other pastor in this room, Man, things are just happening in their ministry, and it's just absolutely incredible. And then you look at yourself and you go, "What's what's 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 going on here?" And uh, see, that's what I'm saying. I understand about Jonah and his frustration, his frustration about ministry. Now, I'm not trying to defend my brother at all. <laughs> I think there's something seriously wrong in his theology and his concepts of what preaching and ministry is all about because see, it seems to me, and this is just the way I see it, is that Jonah was very much about himself. But then again, just being honest with you, I've had those moments too to where it just would just be about me. And I know that's a terrible, terrible flaw. And I pray to God that uh, God would always correct that. And that's a part of the frustration because the scripture says that him whom he loveth, then he chastens. And sometimes we don't understand the chastening of God, but it really is all about his love. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast. <laughs> 